Welcome back everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a stretch of a Once Wednesday. So the star cards from the EX series are probably one of the most uh, sought after and valuable cards. Uh, now some of them, like Alakazam Star, are only about 35, I think. Um, some of them, like this beautiful Mew Star, can easily get over a hundred. Um, now, my Mew Star, actually, if you look at it just like this, it looks to be in excellent, uh, well, actually, I think I would, uh, PSA might consider this excellent condition. Um, from just this angle, you might consider it near mint, but if we look at it closely, we have a little ding down here. Um, there's no scratches or uh, really any surface wear. There's two areas up here. I can't tell if they're spots or if they're actually supposed to be part of the picture. Um, I'm not even sure if you can... Yeah, there you go. You can see the little ring right around the Mew. Um, again, I'm not sure what that is. I don't have another Mew star to really compare it to. Uh, little edge whitening. You can see the edge whitening more on the back um, and just general surface wear on the back. So I am looking for a mint or, well, near mint mint condition card uh, uh, Mew Star. Like I said, it's, uh, it's kind of a stretch, a tall order. Um, I've been trying to kind of price these out for a little while. While you could easily pay over $100 to a, to a retailer like Troll and Toad and get a near mint one, uh, some of the ones I've seen on eBay and Near Mint can go down to, uh, I, thought, I saw a few ending around the high 70s, low 80s range. Um, consistently, though, they seem to fall uh, around 90. Now, um, for uh, the purpose of this video, I'm looking to trade for it. So I would probably go more towards the 100 range as far as trades. And really, the only reason I chose uh, to show a... Um, to try and swap out my Mew Star in uh, this week's Once Wednesday is because I actually do have a fairly valuable card in the Trade Binder to show off this week. So um, now that we've kind of talked about the value and what I'd be kind of willing to go up to in trade value, let's take a look at the Trade Binder and see if there's anything anyone is interested in. And on to the ultra rare update. So everything that you see is for sale as well as trade, except for the Rayquazas down here at the bottom, they are for sale only. Um, looking at $3 each, trying to sell them for a friend. Uh, the Charizard and Mewtwo at the top do have some damage. I've shown that uh, off in detail in some other videos. And these three are all sealed. So. That Shaman Full Art in the corner is the card that I was talking about as uh, the one that has fairly, um, pretty good value. I believe it's going for around 50 right now. I've seen some where they get a little higher, but 50 seems to be about average. There's also the Gold Primal Groudon right beside it. Um, and then a slew of other Full Arts. All of these are Japanese, one Full Art Supporter, and a couple of Breaks. So, um... I still think it's a pretty, pretty tall order. Uh, I don't, I really doubt I'm going to be able to find anyone with a near mint mint Mew star that they're willing to just trade, but why not uh, ask while I do have a relatively expensive competitive card. Uh, promos are all on the left and then on the right we start the expanded series with legendary treasures. and then promos on the right as well as along the bottom. And I've listed all of the prices and values for the cards below so that you can, if you're interested in buying, obviously, you know how much um, I'm relatively asking for. Um, some things are open to negotiation. Uh, all of these are staff stamped, by the way. But also so we know what we're looking at as far as a fair trade. Oops, I am so sorry. Let's bump that back up there. All right. Um, and of course, there's other cards on my once list too. Lots of older stuff, a few newer things, but not too many. Uh, Ban Moo Moo Milk uh, and Pharos got caught in the crimper um, when they were doing the sealing the pack. So I thought that was kind of cool. And a uh, German, I believe, uh, Hariyama. And on to Japanese cards. All sorted by set, oldest to newest. And they're listed below in the order that I show them, since uh, they're fairly easy to get mixed up. 
And then the few new Japanese cards from the sets we've been opening over the last few weekends. Cruel Cha- uh, if I can speak. Cruel Traitor and Fever Burst Fighter, or Explosive Fighter, depending on which translation you're reading. And then we have a few promos. Uh, the Shaman is just unlimited. And a few hollow energy, including I found a hollow water energy. Um, it is the play promo, but it has the uh, the crosshatch and then the Lugia uh, background like Call of Legends. A few more hollow energy. And we still have a few Magikarp that are sealed as the target promo to spare. So... Um, Ideally, I would love to work out a trade for Mew first. However, uh, I'm not expecting anyone to come forward with one. So, of course, everything is still available for trade for anything on my wants list um, or for sale. Uh, the, the Shaman, like I said, is going for around 50 or so. So if I could get a buyer for it, um, I'd be very happy with that too. I'm hoping that maybe uh, in the maybe not the re until next year, but I am hoping that some of the the more expensive cards on my once list, perhaps I could start buying and then selling off the damaged ones to kind of help fund that. Um, but I'd really like to focus on funding the product openings right now, as well as MLB Season Three, which is coming back this fall. So. Hope everyone has enjoyed this week's Once Wednesday, and we'll stay tuned for the last couple of Japanese box openings this weekend. <laughs>